Hey guys, today we're canning and we're canning green beans. I've got the canner going with seven jars, seven quart jars of green beans, but I have this many left over. And it's not enough for a canner, but it is about three jars of green beans. So what I'm going to do, we have plenty of potatoes that need to be canned and I'm going to count them together and we're going to talk about the process when you can two different vegetables together. So we're going to can green beans and potatoes. Okay guys, according to the ball book, potatoes, white Irish potatoes, go uh, 40 minutes per quart. So what we're doing, I'm going to put a few green beans in with my potatoes. And I'm going to make seven jars of green beans and potatoes mixed. The green beans only can at 25 minutes. And I'm adjusting my canner for the green beans that are going. So they're going for 25 minutes. But when I'm adding green beans and potatoes together, and this is a southern dish, I guess, some people would say, but I'm going to put a few green beans and a few potatoes in at the same in the same jar. That means I go to the highest one, whichever one cooks the most, I guess you would say. The green beans cook 25 minutes, potatoes 40 minutes. So we have to go to the 40 minutes. Okay, this is canning math if you like math. Canning math. Whatever takes the longest to cook, you have to cook everything in there that long. So if you're making soup and you have beans and potatoes and corn and onions and all this stuff in it, your soup would have to go at the highest or the longest thing in it. And corn goes for an hour and a half. So no matter what else you put in that jar, you have to go to the, the extent the corn needs or else you could lose your food. So don't skimp on time, guys. So with these green beans and potatoes, we're going 40 minutes, like we do with potatoes, even though there's green beans in there. So canning that, go to the longest thing Look all your ingredients up, see how long they can, and go to the one that processes the longest time. So today we're going to be canning them for 40 minutes. Okay, so the first potatoes are coming out. They've been in five minutes. And I'm just putting them in the same bowl with the green beans. We're gonna start jarring these up in a minute. And I'm gonna add the rest of the potatoes in this hot water for the next five minutes. Alright, so now we're ready to process the potatoes and the beans together. We're going to take one hot jar out. We've got them in the back in hot water. While these are still getting hot, we're going to add one teaspoon of salt, which is non-iodized. We're going to mix beans and potatoes in one jar. And we don't want to mash them down in there. We just want them to kind of be full. Not sure if we'll have seven jars yet or not. We're going to fill up to the bottom rim with water. 
And this is clean, hot, boiling water. You do not use the water that you blanch in. touch more. Okay. We are up to this line. We're going to debubble somewhat. You don't want to mash things. You just kind of want to get some of the air bubbles out. We're going to clean the rim. Make sure there's no salt. We're going to put a cap on it and put it in the canner. There you have potatoes and green beans together ready for a meal. Because we have potatoes, they go 40 minutes, green beans go 25. You have to take the longest amount of time. So we are going to the 40 minutes to process these. And that's the general rule. That's the canning math. Whatever process is the longest amount of time in your jar, you have to go to that amount of time. Okay, we have one last jar left. I ran out of potatoes and green beans together, so this one is only going to be potatoes. And we're going to put our one teaspoon of salt. Our potatoes that have been blanched for five minutes. We're going to put our hot water in here. We're going to de bubble. Clean the rim. Put the cap on. And we're going to process all our. Um, jars for 40 minutes. All six of these have green beans and potatoes. This one just has potatoes. And because of the potatoes, we have to go 40 minutes. Green beans only 25, but you go the longest time. Okay, there's our one with potatoes in it. So along over the next few days, I'm gonna have to be canning some potatoes. Like I said, your um, canning math. Always go to the longest length of whatever you've got in your jar. Here, my potatoes were 40 minutes. The green beans were 25, so we went to the 40 minutes. So thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.